Okay, say something. Uh, say something. I'm David Jester, uh, oil painter in Palm Springs, California. Um, I do figurative queer paintings. There's a couple things that are at the center of the, the work. Uh, one is this idea that uh, the pool is a community and it's a community that exists next to an outside community. Uh, and uh, so for me, the pool is really the gay community and the outside world is the straight community. If you're in the pool looking out or out looking in the pool, you have a very distorted view of the other people. And so that kind of plays into the straight gay community relationship. The other thing uh, that's important to me in the series is this idea of activism through visibility. And so I think that uh, diversity is a key piece in the pools and being visible. And there's kind of a third element, which is uh, how these people in the pool present themselves or treat each other. I was doing pools in grad school, but the pools in grad school uh, was a different situation. It was uh, uh, installation work. And so I did four by eight foot panels of guys coming out of a pool. And that surrounded a floor that was painted like a pool. So that the viewer was entering a pool and looking at a pool. Uh, and the idea behind that work really was that we're all in the same pool of humanity. Uh, and there were other elements that, that were part of that initial series that are important to this work as well. It's the idea of uh, fluids, purity of fluids, the quest for purity. In some of the earlier works, the tiles are actually HIV molecules and there are pool cleaners. So it's this desire for cleanliness that's sort of very background metaphor. Grits kind of, it's very much separate from the pool series, but it's adjacent to the pool series. So it's kind of like going back in time a little bit. And uh, GRID is a gay-related immune deficiency disease, which was the name of AIDS before it was AIDS. It speaks to a specific time, a point in time, uh, when people were getting sick, but it was just gay men. Uh, and at that point in time, people didn't care because it was just gay men. And so in GRID, uh, there is a party going on outside this pool. And it plays on that sort of distorted view thing again. And people outside the pool are ignoring what's going on in the pool. Inside the pool are 13 figures. For me, it's kind of like a Christ-like figure. Uh, he has painted nails instead of nails to their feet. And then there are the 12 disciples. And as you go deeper and deeper in the pool, people are getting sicker and sicker and sicker. And I think that idea of discounting other humans' pain uh, because of who they are was important to me. And that actually leads into the series that's coming after the pools, which is all about people uh, ignoring terrible situations because of their belief systems, right? And, and their lack of compassion for other humans. So distortion uh, is one of the things that I really love about pools uh, and working with water. And this idea of having a distorted view of people that are in the other world. And some great examples of that for me are baptism, where the the one guy is being drawn into the water by another guy from the surface. I like when things are so distorted that they almost become like a monster. And so this is how someone outside the pool would view the, the guys in the pool, as two monsters, right? Being dragged into the depths of the pool. And so there are two paintings, one is I and one is they, where the there's a considerable amount of distortion. In they, it's a reflected distortion uh, and in I, it's actually the subject is very distorted. 
But you get this sort of idea of uh, this turmoil in that painting in, inside on how they are feeling about themselves. So I started the series of the, the guys in the pool uh, really as a reaction to what I was seeing online and how we were treating each other on the social apps. This idea of no fats, no femmes, no Asians, no blacks, are you clean? All these things uh, were the, the kernel that created the, the series of paintings. And that's why if you look at the earlier paintings, there's a lot more of the tiles that are HIV molecules and the sort of desire for cleanliness. Um, I think though as time uh, went on and I got rid of some of that sort of like anger or, or disappointment that uh, we were being so discriminatory towards each other after working for so many years for rights, after that sort of anger or disappointment uh, went away, this series evolved more into sort of a portrait and uh, involve more into this idea of abstract activism where visibility is a form of activism. <laughs> 